Hey guys, it's Asia Dang. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. This is Hannah Gracie, by the way. We are at Gracie University in Torrance. I've been wanting to do this video because I feel like as a woman, it's, the climate's kind of scary right now, and I thought that it'd be very important to do a self-defense video just to show you, I mean, everyone, but particularly for my ladies, the most important moves that you guys need to have in your arsenal if you ever should feel unsafe or in a really bad situation where you need to get yourself out of. Six seconds is all it takes to choke someone unconscious. And what the attacker does after you're unconscious is completely out of your control, which is why we have to escape at all costs from these chokeholds. Mm -hmm. So first we're gonna see a two-handed standing strangle, then we're gonna see a, another standing variation where the person is behind you, strangling you and trying to drag you into isolation. Then we're gonna talk about what if they have you pinned against the wall and they're strangling you against the wall, and then we're gonna take it to the ground. Two most common ground fighting positions, the mount and the guard. Mount, he's on top of you with legs trapping your body, and guard, he's inside of your legs, often the final destination objective for a sexual predator. Shall we go? First one. First situation is a standing two-handed front choke, a very common attack situation. The question is, what would you do in this? How would you get my hands off your neck? Go push them off. I would, yeah, try to push it out this way. Don't talk about it, be about it. I'm trying to be about it, it's not working. She's competing with me strength for strength. Yeah. I'm grabbing her neck inward, and she's trying to rip my hands outward, and it becomes an arm strength competition, which against a larger opponent may not be effective. Another thing people are probably thinking is, why don't you just knee him in the... Boom. Boomers. If you strike him in the groin and you knock him out, congratulations, you're free. If you miss or mm -hmm. your strike doesn't have the desired effect in mm -hmm. terms of triggering a pain response, because people are on adrenaline, drugs, alcohol, they don't feel pain like other yeah. people. Yeah. So if you hit him and you're relying on pain and it doesn't have the desired outcome, you're still getting choked and now you have yeah. one second left and you pass out. Right. Hold my neck tightly. Instead of hitting, tighter, tighter, come on Asia. <laughs> Oh, damn. I use my entire body to target her two thumbs. Yeah. So again, as you hold, instead of trying to fight arm for arm, mm -hmm. you're strong too. Look, I, bow, I step back on my strong side mm -hmm. and I bow down. And it just slips Your right thumbs off. cannot stop a yeah. whole body from going. And this yeah. is targeting your strength against their weakest point of their grip. Right. So first thing, tighten up your neck, strong neck, yes. And now you're gonna step back. As you do your step, you're gonna duck under. Make sure your head doesn't touch my wrist. Go straight through. And she's out, nice. So the key on the tight neck is that I can't get in and penetrate in the arteries there. There you go. So once you're well, you want that double chin. Yes, you want that triple chin, chin, you guys. Chin. We call it alligator neck when we teach the children. Tighten it up, you guys, always tight neck. She's gonna bow straight forward, go ahead and come out perfect. And their thumbs cannot stop your body from going straight down. One of the most common mistakes on this one, hold my neck please, is you bow and your head hits the wrist. Yeah. You don't want your head to hit the wrist. Straight down and back up. So go underneath the wrist so that all your energy is targeting those two thumbs, not their arm or their wrist. Ready? I like it, yeah. Next topic, the person sneaks up. You can't set a boundary if you can't see the person. So yep. they sneak up and they wrap you around the neck and now they're trying to drag you into isolation. The question is, what would we naturally do to get those hands? Pull it off, pull it off. We're going, we're going. No, Bye no, everybody. No, Bye no. everybody. <laughs> Okay. We're gonna do a forward step with this foot, step forward, and then this foot is gonna step between our bodies, and you're gonna dip that shoulder until you land on this side of my body. Mm -hmm. Correct, it's called the shoulder slip. Okay. So I'm dragging you here. You can even use your hands to protect your neck initially, but okay. take one step forward, slip through it, and I'll hug my body from here and push away, and push up, yes. So initially, once you turn, he may still be holding onto your neck. Yep. So do it again slow, step forward, mm -hmm. step through, slow. Well, now come here, at this point, he's gonna try to strike her, then you push off both hands and you get away, beautiful. If she does the exact same thing the opposite way, do it very slowly, Asia, slow. Step the forward, way. correct, slow. Step through, freeze. It uh, just got tighter. It sure did. There's an opening over here. This is close. So if you're gonna back out, look, she's gonna back out towards the opening. Step forward, step back. She, look, 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 she's unraveling the choke. Obviously a little bit tighter, it's harder to do, but with practice, you really learn that once you slip your shoulder out, your choke, the choke is gone. So if, I, if they're left-handed, we'll Yes, do the same you got thing. it, good luck on this one. Good luck, good luck. Good luck. Nice shoulder slip and then you're out, beautiful. She got it. Oh, all right. All right. Let's so, go. next one, let's go to the wall over here. Okay. We're on the wall, people. Grab my throat here and just keep your face away because I don't want to actually elbow you. Yeah, so we're going to hit it right here. So, check it out. I'm going to turn all in one. Palm strike, foot pivot. Look at the foot. Boom. Most common mistake, they hit the other way. When yeah. you hit this way, you're fighting four fingers. When you hit this way, you're fighting just the thumb. Just like the first. Thing yes. That we did. Where is the weakness? And the weakness is right there. And here's what's interesting. If you push, this move is so good that just by pivoting, the hand falls off the neck. So my pivot is as important, if not more important, than the hit. So really think of that foot. Look at the foot. 
rotating on the ground as my shoulder pivots through everything. Mm -hmm. And then your hand's gonna slide right. At the same time, I'm gonna palm strike mainly because as I do, I want you to fall in right here, which sets me up for this wrap, boom. So right here, try that pivot, go. Yes, now wrap the neck. Tight, 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 tight. Now watch your hand, squeeze, squeeze. Ah. Here we go, big turn. Yes, and then come around. Ah, okay. Man, her guillotines are tight. Who taught you that? I don't know, maybe. That was nice. It's called the mount, okay, a very common fighting position. Or you wanna be as the, as the top person, and if you're on the bottom, you never wanna be here. But from a yes. self-defense perspective, the reason why it's so problematic is this, make a fist. Hmm. Mm. Mm -mm. Yep, mm. I can't reach him at all. And even if she could reach me, she wouldn't have the power. Relax, make a fist. Even if you hit me, I'm gonna ride with it. Mm -hmm. Where if I hit you, your face bounces off the pavement. Yeah. So you have very limited power and very limited options from here in terms of striking. Yeah. Now, I already know some of our viewers at home are thinking, hit him in the where it counts. Boom, same thing. If you knock him out, great. Yeah. But if you don't, guess what we have now? An exchange yeah. of firepower that is to your disadvantage. This is actually really scary. Even though I know you're not gonna hurt me, just you being on top of me is very scary. How would someone, how would you, and probably similar to our friends at home, push me off wildly? Go, get up. Go, right. Asia, come on, Asia. <laughs> we believe in you. Do you guys believe in her? Go, Asia. Don't let me go tight. Oh, okay. Step number one, elbows in by your ribs. You don't want his knees to ride up under your armpits. Oh, okay. Step number two, hand cross grip and hook my wrist with no thumb. Look at her grip, you guys. Because if she grabs with a thumb, hold tight, Asia, don't let go. Coming right out. Yeah. This is called the monkey grip. Look, now there's no way my hand travels out laterally. But even though you got me that way, elbow down, even though you have lateral control, I can still pull out the back. Right. To prevent that, this hand will go to my tricep and she'll just hold and kind of keep it secure there so I can't come out the back or the side now, you lock me. And the closer your elbow is to your body, the more leverage you're using from your back. Mm -hmm. This is solid now, he found it. Now her foot's gonna step just over my foot, just like that, perfect. And the other foot right in the center of my legs, perfect. Now without letting go of my arm, your hips are gonna, I can't post out, and that's why I fall. That was good. <laughs> so the next situation, is instead of the attacker being mounted on your hips, right, where their knees are on either side, giving me the position of advantage from here, mm -hmm. the attacker is inside your guard, where mm -hmm. they're inside your legs here. Push me off, go Asia, get up, get up, go, push him off. He's like following, strangling, yep. holding. I can barely get my legs uh. around. So the person's inside your legs, when they, especially if they're strangling you, and again, different behavior, we have different options. But if they're inside the guard, Check this out, cross grip, blade, foot, turn, and go. Whoa. And now from here, her arm is 100%, look, breakable in my control. Heels tight, wrist control, and I thrust my hips up, boom, and I break her elbow backwards right here, as much or as little as we want. Beautiful technique. So step one, person's here, you're gonna go cross grip and hook my forearm, beautiful. Step two, blade across my neck. Step three, foot on my pelvis right here. Yep, and you're gonna turn and bite this foot high the other way. You're gonna pivot this way and put this foot high in my armpit, way up there, by my back. Over my, higher, 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 there. Now okay. that it's high there, Asia, bring this leg over my head and around the world. Bring it around in front of my face, all the way around. Oh. Yes, lock your heel, hold on, yes, slow. Both hands grab my wrist. Now yes, very please. slow, hips up slow. Yeah. Again, that was good, so the key is what? Yeah, look, at, again. look at my hand. Perpendicular, so you're pivoting beneath me, so you're over here and I stay over here. Like okay. you're gonna do this, and how do you make that pivot? Okay. Using the foot, this mm -hmm. okay. That's how it makes you so turn. So you go, you push away. From the arm that you want, because what you're trying to do is introduce your hips to the elbow that you wanna break, and by pivoting, you're bringing your hips to my elbow, slow. Okay. So cross grip my arm, blade on my, on my forearm, beautiful, foot on my hip, turn and bite my armpit really high. Look at leg over the head now. Yes, that was ninja, okay. Two hands, so one, you're gonna get the forearm, Blade, foot on the hip, turn and bite the armpit, leg over the head. Now it's not here. If he falls down, no problem. Calm down, Asia. Calm down, it's me. <laughs> Calm your nerves. I <laughs> forgot where I was for a second. Yeah. We hope that you were at least inspired to learn a little bit more. Like we said, we don't ever want to be put in these positions, but if there is ever a time, at least now with this video or at Grace University or wherever you find any of your jujitsu information, yeah. you will at least have the basics and yeah. to stay calm. And that's all and you need. Hannah, thank you so much awesome. for Congratulations. teaching us. Don't go picking fights now. <laughs> I won't, I okay. won't. His information will be in the description box, so please do check it out. And if you have any comments or questions, leave us comments in the comment section. I'm Major Ding. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time.